Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, part five of topic three in our database class, I'm going to provide a brief introduction to the data manipulation language or DML component of the broader structured query language. All right. So we will return a little later in this topic back to the DDL, but for now, this is a good time for us to transition into learning about three of the four operations that uh, together comprise the DML part of the structured query language. And as a reminder, the DML means data manipulation language. These are the commands oops, in SQL Server, or I should say in SQL, that allow us to actually change or work with the data in the database. So as in contrast to the DDL, the data definition language, where we were focused on structure, now we're focused on data. So it's not the structure of the tables, but the data contained inside those tables. That's what the data manipulation language is all about. Okay. And there are four basic data operations that are handled by the data manipulation language. And they are creating new data. Let me change this color here. Oh, it's a little better. So creating new data, reading existing data, like getting values out of the database, updating existing data, or deleting existing data. So these are our four basic data operations. And the reason I listed them like this is because it creates this acronym CRUD, which hopefully is something that's reasonably easy to remember. So create, read, update, and delete. However, it's important to recognize that these four basic data operations do not directly map to their corresponding keywords in the structured query language. So if we want to put that information out here, I'll go ahead and do that. So create in structured query language is insert into, read equivalent statement in the structured query language is select, update, fortunately is update. <laughs> so that one's easy enough. And the delete is delete. So what we see here then on the left are the four basic data operations as they are commonly described, CRUD, create, read, update, delete. Right. And then what we see on the right is their corresponding operations in the DML inside the structured query language. So if we want to create new data, that is if we want to add new data to an existing table, we use insert into in our SQL statements. If we want to read data from the database, have the database answer a question for us, we use select. If we want to change the value of some existing data, we use update. That one's easy because it's update on both sides. And if we want to delete some existing data, we use the keyword delete. Okay. So four basic data operations here their SQL equivalents here. And if I wanted to be a little more thorough, I might put, to help you avoid making future mistakes, I might put delete from here instead of just delete, because it really is delete from. 